tribal seed your time has come Good morning. It's your brother JD Nija. Word of truth with JD Nija. Coffee with JD Nija. Oh. Had a few too many adult pops last night. But I'm feeling better now. So, before I get started, all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, and the Ruach, the Holy Spirit that gives us this power, wisdom, knowledge, ability, strength, and energy needed to fight against these devils that are saying all kinds of wicked stuff out there. So, uh, before I get started, Heavenly Father, bless this message, bless the ears, whoever hears it, um, accept us in a contrite and hu our humble and contrite spirit that wants to know you better, understand your word, and walk in your ways, and do your will, amen. Um. Fucking Apostle Rakar, Rakar from GMS talking his shit again. I'm going to have to bop him. Man, they're, they're so stuck on this Gentiles can't be saved. Oh, the Lord only came for Israel. Blah, blah. It's a bunch of bullshit, but Besides that, I heard him say, something else, untrue, he's trying to say that the Edomites were the ones that put Yahushua on the cross. How much of their doctrine is just backwards and it's not scriptural it's not scriptural by the way Jay Hall thanks for um Steven Anderson that <laughs> the dude reminds I didn't really watch him I, I just listened to him I was laying down listening um his style I guess because he doesn't talk like a negro it, it reminded me a lot of myself I was like and sure enough there's a bunch of uh a bunch of conflict around the guy. I guess people are just don't like what he says. They don't like the truth because I, I was scrolling down through some of the videos and there's people rebuking him and <coughs> for things that, from what I could tell, um, they could spend their time. <coughs> 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 better doing something more constructive than some of the nonsense. I didn't even get the gist of what they were saying. It was so I, out in left field. It's like, what are you trying to say? But anyway, thanks, Jay Hall. That I'm, I'm going to probably enjoy listening to some of his messages. The, the one I listened to last night was Ezekiel. He was going in uh, into Ezekiel and um, it just, it almost sounded like a recording of some of my, <coughs> some of my messages. It was interesting. I was like, all right, <laughs> I can see, I can see why you uh, uh, directed me towards him. We're a lot alike, I can tell. Um, but anyway, so this Apostle Ricard, these GMS guys, man, they, I, I catch him saying nonsense all the time now. It's like, I used to think it was just a few things, but they say the Edomites, the white people, killed, killed Yahushai. That is 
<clears throat> so not scriptural, and I'm going to prove it right now. It's like, who, what, what are these guys? They're, they're just cuckoo, macuku. Let's see, where was I? <clears throat> oh, right here. Um, uh, Jesus, Yahushai before the council. Who's the council, people? The council is the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the chief scribes and the chief priests. So, it goes all the way back to, um, to when uh, Judas betrayed him. When Judas betrayed him, what's it say? And when they... Oh, okay. <clears throat> Jesus said to them, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? And when they which were about him saw what would follow, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smite with the sword? And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. I thought for sure that was Peter, but it doesn't say, it doesn't say that. Huh. And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. <clears throat> I always thought it was Peter, but it doesn't say that. Hmm. So anyway, <clears throat> we're going to have to look a little more into that. Okay, back to what we were talking about, Salakia. Um, and and Yehoshai answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear and healed him. And Yehoshai said unto the chief priests and captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him. <clears throat> Who's chasing him down? <coughs> the Jews. The Jews are the ones that hated Jesus. Rakar, are you stupid? Right. So what? People just don't ever look in the Bible and go, what are these GMS guys talking about? Right there it says it. And Jesus said unto the chief priests and captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, but ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves, and when I was daily with you in the temple, in the temple, who's in the temple? The Jews. What the fuck are you talking about, Rakar? Hey, you guys, you guys are whack, fucking whacked out of your fucking brains, Salakia. For the, uh, they're 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 insane. They they don't. <clears throat> They twist the Bible into whatever they, whatever their little black militant bullshit makes it seem right to them. Unbelievable. When I was, this is your house, when I was daily with you in the temple, you stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your, this is your hour and the power of darkness. What's he saying to him? You wicked fuckers. The spirit of the devil's on you now, and that's what the spirit of the devil's on you, Rakar, Tahar, Aramlab. I Aramlab last night a little bit because I I had too many pops. I was surprised I never Aramlab. It says it right there, Luke, Luke twenty-two and fifty-three, and then it goes on. Um. Jesus, Yahushai before the council. And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and scribes came together and led him into their council, saying, Are you the Christ? Tell us. And he said unto them, If I tell you, you won't believe it. Just like GMS, I tell them, but they won't believe. They, 
they must be these wicked scribes and Pharisees. They've got to be. They, it's it's becoming evident that they are guy was skateboarding pretty good. Um, and if I ask you, you will answer me, not let me go. Whereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of God? Then said they all, Art thou then the Son of God? And he said unto them, You say that I am. And they said, What need we any further witness? We ourselves have heard it out of his own mouth. So right, it says it over here, it says it over here, and then it's, it says it again in, in the same Luke. <clears throat> and the whole multitude of them arose and led him unto Pilate. And they began to accuse, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he's the king, the Christ, the king. And Pilate asked them, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he answered, You say I am. And then Pilate then said Pilate to the chief priests and to the people, I find no fault in this man. <clears throat> the, the Romans could care less what he said. Pilate didn't care. I don't find no fault in him. What are you talking about, Rakar? What are you talking about? You're, you're backwards. You're, you're boneheaded. <clears throat> and they were the more fierce, saying, He stirreth up the people, teaching throughout all Jewry, teaching through all Jewry, Jewry, Jews through Judah. He's going all through Judah, beginning with Galilee to this place. When Pilate heard of Galilee, he asked whether the man was a Galilean. He asked, Is, is, he, is, is this guy from Galilee? And as soon as he knew that he belonged into Herod's jurisdiction, he sent to Herod, who himself also was at Jerusalem at the time. And when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceedingly glad. He wasn't angry, Rakar, you dumb, you dumb fucker, man. So tired of your lies, man. You make, you make a loving person hateful, Rakar, because you're such a dumbass. What's it say? Herod was glad. Herod was happy. What's it say? He was exceedingly glad, and he was desirous to see him for a long season, because he had heard many things of him, and he hoped to have seen some miracles done by him. Herod just wanted to see, see if it was true who this guy was, and he's like, wow. So here you are. Cool. Let's talk. And he questioned him in many words, but he answered him nothing. And the chief priests and scribes stood and vehemently accused him. Who accused him? Rakar, you monkey brain. Didn't they teach you anything in that school in, in Harlem? What were you doing? Out there sniffing glue? Are you guys on on on? Drugs or something? Are you sniffing paint? Are you a paint sniffer? What's it say? And the chief priests and scribes stood and vehemently accused him. Wow. Let's get let's keep going. It's not it doesn't stop there. Pilate seeks to release Yahawashai. And Herod, with his men of war, set him at night and mocked him and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him again to Pilate. So that's when the Romans started to get involved. It wasn't the Romans that wanted that Herod and Pilate are, are saying, this has nothing to do with us. This is, this is your shit. GMS, this is your shit that you're starting, GMS. You wicked niggas. I hate using that word, but that's about the word that um, describes your Compton mindset. In Pilate, when he had called together the chief priests and rulers and the people, 
said unto you, said unto them, listen, Rakar. Christian fucking stupid ass. And said unto them, You have brought this man unto me as one that perverteth the people, and behold, I have examined him before you and have found no fault in this man, touching those things whereof you accuse him. Who's accusing him? The chief, priests, and scribes, you dumb ass imbecile. Sick of your shit. No, nor yet Herod, for I sent you to him, and lo, nothing worthy of death is done on him. So it's how, it, it says it right here that Herod and Pilate don't have anything to do with him, you dummy. I will therefore chastise him and release him. For of necessity he must be released one unto them at the feast. And they cried out all at once, saying, Away with this man, and release unto us Barabbas. And then it goes into the Barabbas saying, Pilate therefore released Jesus, therefore willing to release Yahushai, spoke again to them. But they cried, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Who's saying it? The Jews, you dummy. And they were instant with loud voices, requiring that he might be crucified. And the voices of them and of the chief priests prevailed. Why are you, why are you idiots perverting the Bible, GMS? Are you getting paid to do this or are you just stupid? I, I don't know. I'm going to have to put up some really rude... Um, title for this video to get to get your attention I'm gonna have to call you out you know I try and be nice about it and just correct you but you guys don't get it and so this one I'm gonna have to call you dumb deceitful ninjas stop your lying GMS GMS you dumb deceitful Ninjas, stop the lying. Lord's gonna get you guys, man. Let's see. How, let's see how it how, if it says anything more about who who did it to him. <clears throat> All right here. Yeah, how wish I said it himself. He said it out of his own mouth. Yehoshai crucified at Calvary. And as they led him away, they laid hold upon one Simon, a Cyrenian, coming out of the country. And on him they laid the cross that he might bear it after Yehoshai. So the Cyrenian, Simon, he was either a Samaritan. What I'm guessing, he was either a Samaritan or a Gentile. Because, right after this, they picked a Gentile to help him carry the cross, and that's where the Gentiles get grafted in. This is part of what the story's about, GMS, you dummies. You guys have it all backwards. And there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented for him. But Yahushai, turning unto them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming in which they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bear, and the paps which never gave suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? He's talking to those wicked scribes and Pharisees, the chief priests. He's saying, daughters of Jerusalem. That, that's not that's not the Romans. Rakar, you dummy. Why, why don't you just read the Bible, man? And stop pushing your nonsense. You make me sick. And 
And then, Yahweh shall I father forgive them for they know not what they do. Do you know not what you're doing, Bakar, Tahar, Gabar, Aram, Aram? Do you know not what you do? I think you do know what you're doing. Maybe not. I'm having a hard time forgiving you because you just keep saying the same thing and you don't read the Bible. And the people stood beholding and the rulers also with him, deriding him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he be the Christ, the chosen of God. And then the soldiers mocked him. Those are the those are the Romans that were there. They're like, yeah, ha, ha, ha. And saying, if you be the king of the Jews, save thyself. And the subscription also was written over the letters of the Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is king of the Jews. Why were they mad? Because he was saying he was king of the Jews. The Jews were mad. The Romans could give a fuck. Lord Jesus man, has done nothing to miss. Um, and that's that. The veil of the temple was rent. So then it goes, then I went back to Matthew. It says the same thing. just the same story let's see so the Romans didn't want the blood on their hands because um, Pilate says right here then answered all the people and said his blood be on us and on our children then released he Barabbas unto them when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. So the, the, the Romans helped crucify him. They actually put him up there. But it was, the, it was the scribes and Pharisees that started the whole thing. Let's see where it says. It basically says the same thing. Uh, I, I didn't get into this. Caiaphas. Um, Jesus before Caiaphas. So Caiaphas was the um, the chief priest. And they, it's Matthew 26, 57. And they that had laid hold on Jesus led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and elders were assembled. This is way before... They put the crown on his head before they scourged him, before Pilate, before Herod, before the the two criminals. This was when they first went and got him. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Jesus to put him to death. You just <clears throat> pretend like that scripture's not in there, Ricard. Is that how you is that how you roll? You just leave out the stuff that the Bible says and you come up with these I, I don't even know what what scripture you could say that would make anyone believe that the Romans killed Jesus. Everyone fucking knows it was the Jews, you dumb fucking Negro. I, I'm 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 done. I, I'm going to do another lesson. I'm going to do a sweet lesson after this one because I am so sick of these GMS, man. They're, they're going to, I can't wait for the Lord to come back and just, oh, tear them to shreds. That These boys better be getting some pretty fat steaks and some pretty hot rod cars and some pretty skanky ass cocksucking whores or something. Um. They, they, I don't know what they're getting in this world to, to throw this nonsense around. But um, it, it's like every day, every day, if I listen to them, I hear them quacking some nonsense. So that's that. I'll be back. I'm going to 
talk about something uh, more interesting than arguing. Maybe maybe that's the goal is to just get us talking about um, everything except the truth. Maybe that's what GMS's whole thing is. Great military service, general military service, man, is what these guys are. They're, they they got to be some kind of military psyop or something. I don't I don't know what they're doing. They don't make any sense on a lot of key issues. It's like, really? Really, dudes? All right, this is your brother, J.D. Nija. Sorry for, <clears throat> if I was a little angry and out of order, but the, I, I don't like liars, and I definitely don't like liars who lie about our Lord. All praise is honor and glory to the Most High, our Heavenly Father, the Holy Heavenly Father, his only begotten son, Yahweh, Shai, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and the Rikah Kudash praises on to all three because they're the power, the glory, and the might. Till the next one, J.D. Nija, word of truth, word of truth. I'm out.